Okay, we now have a working microphone, hopefully. Let me see. Yeah, oh, that works. And game sounds working as well. Okay, hello and welcome to, uh, to everybody. We already have a lot of people here who showed up. Um, oh, pack that microphone away. Don't need that. Um, so, oh, we're already here. So today, um, I'm continuing to work a bit on my... Um, my fiddle Corvette, we did this, um, it would actually be four weeks ago, <laughs> exactly. Um, I was beginning to, to work on it because I wanted to give it a few upgrades. I had a few uh, things I wanted to try and change. Uh, mainly in terms of the weapon loadout, that's at least my main focus right now. Um, I will be going over the shields later on, they need, um, they need reworking as well. But, um, but for now and today, the main focus is the weapons. Um, trooper, hello and welcome. And just to um, just get this station here while we're flying towards the station, just to get get you guys up to speed, so you know where we are at. I already have decided on uh, on what upgrades I want to do, um, so that's all good. And I've already um, uh, where is this spreadsheet here? I already made a spreadsheet. I'll show you guys here. Whoop. Where I have uh, basically said, okay, I need to engineer some uh, multi cannons, I need to engineer some plasma accelerators, and I need to engineer some burst lasers. What do I need for the different upgrades, and how many do I need, and how many do I have of, this, of the individual ones? As you can see right now, for the PAs and for the burst lasers, we are short on thermic alloys. We need 39 in total. Um, my hull, I have no idea. Not that much. This is not a combat ship for uh, for Thargoid. It's a combat ship for PVE, so I'm not planning to get into hull. It's mainly a shield tank. So, the first uh, order of business today would be to go out and get the last, uh, what, 10 thermic alloys. Then we'll unfortunately have to go and get our hands on some crack industrial firmware. Maybe I should actually try to just very quickly verify that this list is actually still... Um, valid. Let's do that one, once we're at the station here. Um, the reason why we're heading to the station is because, if I remember correctly, yeah, this is where I currently have my Corvette stored. Um, because we need to go out and find ourselves a conflict zone so we can find ourselves those thermic alloys. Um, which is, of course, the first order of business. And I'm hoping that the, getting the, the alloys and the, uh, the firmware will not take too long. So, um, well, there we go. So we can um, can actually get some engineering done today. Um, ideally, I want the um, the multi cannons, uh, multi cannon. There's only one that has to be engineered, um, and hopefully the burst lasers. The plasma accelerators are not here yet because I'm going for advanced PAs. Um, and if we head into the we'll head into the power play uh, faction yet, as you can see, um, it's not quite there yet. I will get them when they flip the coin on. Um, uh, on Thursday, so in two days I should have the PAs, um, but I want to collect the materials for them anyway. I might, I might wait with the crack industrial firmware, maybe not do that. No, that's fuck. that's for the burst lasers, we need that. Okay, so we, we have to go for the, the crack industrial. It was just, if it was for, uh, for the PAs, I might wait with getting that, but, um... But for now, we'll just, uh... Get it, go in, get our Corvette so we can go out and we can kill some NPCs so we can get those uh, those alloys that we need. Um, and then we will have a quick look at updating the materials list and, and everything. So that's the plan and this is where we are at. Um, the reason why I'm doing these upgrades is mainly because I am still testing out a lot of different um, loadouts for the Corvette. I, the original build was a high penetration, high yield um, built basically it's a module sniper it was built to snipe power plants very, very quickly it could one two shot most power plants um, which was great fun but I would whoops request docking I would very very often end up in the situation okay. where um, where I I would snipe the power plant but they would still have a lot of hull and cannons do not do a lot of damage to hull so I would have to sit there and they would often, with well, some time, they would have to be able to repair by doing a reboot. To repair the power plant and get back, uh, get the ship back and moving. 
before I actually managed to do enough hull damage. So I kind of went away from that build. It was pretty fun. It was actually a very fun build. Um, but not as efficient. Then I went over and tried the normal plasma accelerators, which I really liked. Um, but I wanted to try something different, so I went over to, to go with a basic multi-cannon, huge multi-cannon build. Um, which also works great, especially for what I'm using the Corvette for right now, which is hunting smaller ships. Um, it's absolutely beautiful for that with the multi-cannons, but I want to get it into a stage where I can begin to fight uh, bigger ships again, because it's a little bit more entertaining, take it into some conflict zones. Um, which is why I've decided to go and get... Oops, here we go, power play, let's go have a look. I agree, multi-cannons are good, and so far I think it's my, my favorite setup um, with the multi-cannons, but now we're trying these uh, advanced plasma accelerators. You can see here, I've done my, uh, my 750 merits. Still rank 1, of course, because they have not really flipped, they do that once a week. Um, 3 weeks, 6 days, meaning tomorrow I will have been here for 4 weeks, I have my merits, so that means when it flips and I get to rank 3 and I have my 4 weeks, I will then have access to the advanced plasma accelerators. Which are absolutely insane weapons. They are hilariously fun. It seems like. Of course, I haven't tried them, so I will have to um, to figure that out. But uh, the first thing I... Um Hello. Here we go, inventory materials. It's very first, I want to verify that we have everything that's still in the list. So I'll just very quickly cover this up while I run through the list here. The first thing we need, oops, whereas materials, is biotech conductors. Let's have a, have a look. Yes, we need 30 of those, so that's good. Plenty of those already. Cracked industrial firmware. Still only 15, damn it. <laughs> Let's go over and have a look at thermic alloys. I really should order this alphabetically. That would be a lot easier. Oh, okay, right there. Thermic alloy is still 29. Okay, I'm pretty sure I still have everything then because I haven't really done anything. Let's just check some of the, the others here. Mechanical equipment 18, that's still the same. Precipitated alloys 727. Oh, I actually have. I need one. Precipitated alloys. If I come by those, I will have to try and get those as well. Good that I checked that. Okay, so what are those? Um, I guess the rest is okay. Uh, I don't want to go through all of it. Pretty really should have done that beforehand, but could have, should have, didn't. Twenty-five here. Yes. What about tin? Did I have I used tin for something? No, I have not. Okay, I will. You know what? I think we're good. We're just gonna get the covet out and uh, let's get some uh, materials here. Just gonna be minimize that and put that back there. Oh, okay. Deep Darkness asks, uh, what's the deal with these plasma accelerators? What's up with them? And are they worth the full week? Well, whether they work worth the full week, I don't know. Obviously, I haven't tried them. But what is up with them? Let me um, let me show you here. If you just give me a second, and I can show you guys what these PAs are all about. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, that's probably very, way too small for you guys. Okay, I hope you can read this. So here we have the advanced. You can see they are only 3B, and I put them in huge, which we go, why would you do that? But these have been engineered with rapid fire 5, as you can see here. And I just want to try and compare these to a normal plasma accelerator, right? So I take a normal plasma accelerator, and I can put rapid fire on this as well. I actually not to to make this more fair, let's be, let's make both of them stuck because the advanced really benefits a lot from the advanced upgrades. 
So here we have the standard 4A plasma accelerator. That's the huge ones we're used to. Um, and here we have the advanced one, the class 3B, which you get from the uh, from power plate. First of all, they're lighter in mass. They use less power. Also great. Look at the DPS. DPS is almost identical to uh, to the other one. The damage per shot is, is a lot lower though. The distributing power draw. Look at this. Look at this. 5.5 megawatts of draw. 21. Look at the DPS difference. Though keep in mind that this is probably per shot. And if you look at the rate of fire here. Look at that. At the rate of fire down here. This is shooting at uh, a shot every one uh, zero point. Yeah, 0 0.83 seconds uh, per level. It's shooting 0 0.83 shots per second. So it's a little under, a little over one sh uh, one shot, one second between each shot. And here you can see it's around four seconds between each shot. Actually, exactly four seconds. Um, so again, ammo here. Lots of ammo. Um, with that 20 round magazine compared to the 3 round magazine that you get, or 5 round that you get down here. So really what you do is, look at this, if we take this and we put rapid fire on it. Rapid fire will, if you look at this here, it will increase the DPS by 37.6% and it reduce the power draw even further by 30%. Um, and then it has a, a damage reduction, um, a base damage reduction in the in the shot damage by 40%, but that is of course compensated by the 60% increase in rate of fire. And they're almost 60%, and this is average. If we go for the, uh, the optimal roll, it's a lot better. I always go with an average roll. Um, so the whole point here is, look at this, look at this. 1.3 shots a second. That means that this is shooting more than one shot a second this is very very quick and my idea is then you can see here damage output is absolutely insane if we go efficient on this one for instance just to compare you see damage is not even close if we put this and go overcharged oh overcharged five there you go and then it actually goes over but then Power draw is just through the roof. Uh, so it's about 5. So we can time this with 5. I mean, approximately we have a times 5 uh, increase here in rate of fire. So then we have to multiply that with the, with the power draw. Giving us around 70 to 80 megawatts a second. Or per... Um, or compared to this one, if this has the same rate of fire, this would be around 80. So this still, it still uses uh, a lot less in terms of, uh, of power draw uh, from the distributor. Of course, they are also smaller, but the DPS here is absolutely insane for the size of weapon that it is. And the plan is then, of course, as you can see here, go rapid fire and then go... Um, um, uh, what's the, what, what it's called? It's called Plasma Slug. That's the one. Plasma Slug. Which, um, um, yeah, which of course removes the uh, the magazine here, so I can just get infinite because I'm using fuel instead. Okay, so that's that's that. Um, let me close that again. Let's get back into the game. So that's the that's the idea at least. That's what I'm gonna try out. I'm gonna try to do those with rapid fire. See if they're worth it. Um, but yeah, first order of business is going to be getting our Corvettes. I think they're going to be a lot more difficult to use than multis because you will have to fire them. I mean, they, of course, they're fixed, so it will be a lot harder to hit. 
And question is if you'll be able to 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 hit with that many shots. What I what I think can be the problem with them is because you fire so quickly, you need to stay on target, which can be difficult in a ship like this. So maybe it's just gonna be maybe the effective DPS is gonna be so low because you're not gonna be able to keep them pointing towards the target for very long. Um but that's something we will have to wait and see until I get them. At least I hope they're gonna be interesting. Otherwise, I might just go back to the multi cannons, go with normal PAs maybe. Uh, let's see. What are we looking for? Looking for something in state of not boom, no. Civil war, a war. Not boom, civil war. Okay, we have uh, some systems out here in civil war. Oh, these are oh sorry these are these are in war. Perfect, and it's only three jumps out. So um, like let's just hit there and let's get, let's kill some stuff and let's see what happens. Yeah, I agree that the the fact they have fixed weapons is the drawback with them. Um, rapid fire on, on fixed weapons can be difficult, but I guess it will just be something like go up nice and close to somebody and just open up on them with the PAs and uh, yeah, and then you'll just have to wait and see what happens. Hostile power. All clear. Have a safe trip, Commander. Okay, I'm from Denmark. Smith, hello and welcome to the stream. Luckily, have a decent fuel scoop on this ship, so it's actually not that uh, that bad to move it around. Some beer. For some beer. <laughs> Thank you, matey. <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm gonna see reports of uh, of Dark Ocean Rear. I can see people complaining about being interdicted in Vega, which is only sixty light years from. Um, from Seoul, which is pretty close to be honest, but uh, Morning. what temperature critical already?
Yeah, I definitely, uh, I'm gonna try and get out, go out of my way to be able to go to the next expo. I really don't want to miss that. Do I have a discovery scan on this thing? I actually do. Oh, just changed five groups. There we go. Okay. If I were a conflict zone... Wow. Closest planet is 30,000 light seconds away? Really? <laughs> okay. If I were a conflict zone, I would be next to this planet, because there's a station there. Now, it's not a very populated system, so um, we'll have to wait and see how this goes. <laughs> really? Interdicting me? I'm just gonna submit. Okay, he was clean. Oh, here we go. Submit and destroy. Now he's clean, and there is his wingmate, which is probably also clean. Two eagles. Assholes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kev. For a cat of Carlsberg. But ah oh, no 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 Heineken is not better. For a can of Carlsberg, but Heineken is better. <laughs> no 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 no. I don't know no no. Not not Heineken. Carlsberg Tupo, or even uh, we have a, I don't know if that's an actual international brand, we have a brand in Denmark called Royal, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Kev speaks fake news about beer, I agree. <laughs> but thanks for the donation anyway, Kev. Oh, let me just go full throttle here. Yeah, only get one, don't drink and fly. And then there will be more um, more loops of correction. I will have to try and get my hands on some kind of uh, loop of correction animation I can put up every time I, uh, I overshoot something. Okay, so they have Royal in, uh, in in England as well, apparently. Budweiser all the way, really? Maisie, have, have you have you tasted proper beer? <laughs> no, 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 Spiff, not loop of shame, it's loop of correction. <laughs> we are back to the stream, we are heading towards nothing right now. Don't think there's anything. Nope, nothing here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough, matey. <laughs> oh, signal source. Nah. I'm beginning to make it a habit to. So whenever I see a signal source, try to at least scan it. At the off chance, this is a convoy, something, something. At the off chance that um, that it is something Thargoid related.
Ooh, I'm actually hostile in the system. So who might that be? Who's actually in war here? Maybe we should check that first. Oh well, look at that. We have two. We have two uh, federal factions in war with each other. <laughs> what do they? A hundred dollars for a scotch. That's an expensive scotch, though. <laughs> as soon as we're within a thousand light seconds, we should begin to see the conflict zones, if they are here. But. Since they still are labeled as war, I would expect them to be here somewhere, and I'll just hope there's some uh, some high intensity ones. No, don't want to do signal sources right now. Right now, I'm using multi cannons because the Corvette was was is right now is actually fitted to uh, kill small ships, so that's why I've got it with gimbaled multi cannons. But it is, of course, being refitted. Um, and just to you know, to try out these uh, multi can these new uh, PAs, just to see how they, uh, how they handle and how they work. Yeah, I actually I watched quite a few. Um, subscribe to, uh, to quite a lot of them, and I mean. The, the Elite Dangerous community, or uh, YouTuber community, is quite small. I mean, there's not that many of us. Um, and, I mean, I from time to time, we, we talk to each other on each other's Discord and collaborate in, on different videos and other projects and generally keep each other, give each other heads up if there's something, something comes up that, uh, that everybody needs to know. Um, so in, in general, it's a pretty good community because we are still fairly fairly small community. Here we go, high intensity conflict zone. That's what we're looking for. So yeah, of course, I think all YouTubers pretty much watch what other YouTubers doing the same thing do. Um, but lately, I've noticed that there's been there was a lot of new YouTubers coming. Um, about a year ago, I think. And at the beginning, many was, was kind of doing the same thing, but slowly people are beginning to find kind of their own uh, niche of things they do in Elite, um, which I think is great because that means that people can... Here we go, Henrik, here's your loop of shame. That means that people can find a YouTuber doing the kind of content that they want to watch. Um, Rather than having a lot of YouTubers competing about the same, doing the exact same type of video. Um, for instance, I do a lot of, of how to uh, guide videos. And if you go over to, uh, for instance, Obsidian, who does a lot of lore updates and news updates. Um, so again, other YouTubers have other focuses um, on the game. And I think that's great. Uh... Double G5 overcharged multi cannons with corrosive. No, they don't have a corrosive. You see the triggers. Look at the, at the fire groups here. You can see I actually have four multi cannons. I have two huge and I have two small. The two small have corrosive because the corrosive is a status effect. Maybe I should watch where I'm flying. Corrosive is a status effect. That means that it will apply and it will be effective. It will be as effective whether it's applied by a small hard point or a huge hard point. There's no reason to get the drawbacks from having corrosive on your huge hard point. So that's why I use small hard points for that. But again, there's really no reason to have two of them. So that's why I need to engineer a multi cannon because one of them is going to be changed out for something else. Um, oh, should we see who has, who has big ships? There's a Corvette there. Which is from... Labor, so we are gonna go with the other faction. 
Gotta go with those guys. Let's get our weapons out. Fighting a Corvette, so lots of pips to shield. Just enough to weapon. Here's cannons, it sounds like. Let's get the right firing group here. And let's start with some beam lasers. So the, um, the huge hard points has um, incendiary rounds for extra thermal damage, make them more effective against shields. Here we go, he's shield boosting. Got his ass, there we go. Come on, keep on him, keep on him, he's boosting. Following. Just stay behind him. And he's now outside my range. But look at the damage to his shields. There we go. Pips back to system. And he's shield boosting again. But I think we can power through his shield boost if we're not reloading. I can afford to put some pips into engines now. There we go. We got him exactly where we wanted. A uh, little bit lacking in engine power. There we go. That's his shields down. Now we can begin to work on his hull. You can see the corrosive effect being active there already. So yeah, these incendiary uh, multi-cannons and the small corrosive that's a really, really nasty combination. There we go. That's a Corvette down. So did we get anything? Oh, proprietary composites. We needed that, right? That was one of the things. We needed one of those. So, uh... Oh, that's landing gear. That's cargo scoop. Let's try to scoop this one up. I mean, after all, we are here for thermic alloys and we're getting shot at, so... Uh, we'll have to take care of that. What? Is this floating away right now? I'm not really getting closer. Oh, here we go. Now I'm getting closer. Gonna keep it low in the uh, aiming reticle because the Corvette has a long nose. And if we hit the nose, we're gonna bump it away. And now we're very close. We're gonna slow us. It's really moving away quickly. Is it being pulled towards the planet? Okay, now we're... Look at that. If I go below 30, it's beginning to move away from me. I think this is falling towards the planet. There we go, finally, got it. Okay. Someone is shooting at me. Yes, I will be with you in a moment. Mr. Assault Ship. Not that afraid of an assault ship, so I'll just put all pips into weapons. Keep at him. Scratch one assault ship. Gonna look at the uh, at the drop in a bit. Just gonna take care of whoever this is. See now it's annoying that I've unbounded my targeting because I normally play with that button controller, but I don't have it connected right now. Hello, Mr. Cobra. Chaffy Cobra. I should have collector limpets, but it's very rare that I actually need to pick up. I actually think I might actually have. I might actually have a collector limpet control on this ship. Hold on, let me look. There we go. I do. Ha! I just forgot to bring limpets. Okay, I should have brought limpets. Could have, should have, didn't. Okay, let's see if we can find any thermic alloys. Don't seem. 
seem like there is any. Nope. So let's kill ourselves a Corvette. Oh yeah, you can you can synthesize them. Synthesize limpets? No, you can't. You need nickel. Wow, Ugh, I have one nickel short. Really? <laughs> so you could have synthesized them if you had the right materials. Oh, maybe I should uh, <laughs> close my cargo scoop. Okay, let's try to do this attack properly this time. I'm gonna get in in an optimal position right here. Then we're gonna attack him. Then we're gonna try to stay in this position. Now he's getting some shots in, so let's move more pips over to shields. I'm gonna slow us down so we get more maneuverability than he does. He slowed down as well. Thermal overload, we need more pips to weapons. Pip to sh engines to pick up with him. I'll turn towards him. There we go. And he's dead. Hmm. Nothing. I really don't hope we're gonna get into a dry spell when it comes to the thermic alloys. That would suck. Oh, wow. He's already taking a lot of damage, so let's just get some damage in so we can get the bounty. There we go. That's one. Dead. Still nothing. Okay, next up is a gunship. Unless there's something... Oh, okay, I'm not gonna make it up there before he's dead anyway. And there's a dropship here instead. And there we go, that's the chaff. Yeah, they're definitely learning never to mess with the cube cumber. There we go, okay. He managed to boost his shield back up. That's okay. Look at that shield drop. And he's still chaffing away. There we go. And we got him. There we go. Thermic alloy. There's one. Put some pips into the shields. The dumbest thing in flares. <laughs> See, this is being pulled towards the... Uh, look at this, it's falling away from me. It's definitely being pulled towards the planet. I need to go almost full speed in order to get it, to get this. Keep it low, keep it low, keep it low. 
Cargo acquired, thermic alloy. How close are we to this planet? Quit. No, that can't be. Oh, this is the one, of course. Okay, we only... F wow, we, okay, we are close to the planet. I, I do not have a PvP set up for this ship. I, if I'm going to PvP, which I very rarely does, does I have other ships for that. Which is fitted for the purpose. No more thermic alloys, as you will, as we have. Gunship. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's shooting at me. How nice. I don't care about chaff. If I'm close enough, I can hit you anyway. That goes your shield. On, there we go. And he's gone. Now, nah, but the station nearby is too small. Look at that. There's no station here that I can dog at. Python? I could kill a python. Did I close my cargo? I didn't close my cargo scoop. Yeah, scoop is open. I'm gonna do that a lot. But luckily we don't need that many thermic alloys. We need three more scoops and we're good to go. Here's another thing I want to change. Look at the damage that I do with my uh, with my lasers at this range. Next to nothing. Look at what happens when I move in close. The damage increases drastically. This is with which is one laser pointing at it at the moment. So that's why I'm gonna go with uh, long range on my lasers to um, to get that five kilometer. Whoops. To get that five kilometer fall off, so I don't lose damage as range because that's the majority of the damage reduction that comes from that uh, fall off at long range the fall off the damage fall off on lasers fall off already at fi 500 meters so whenever they're more than 500 meters out i begin to lose damage and look this is 300 this there's 500 that's very very close Okay, there goes the python. Nope, nothing. There we go. Reading chat, not paying attention to where I was flying. Okay, we need more pips because he's running rings around us right now. We cannot have that. There we go. Bye bye. 
There's another one. Let's get it. That should fall right into us. We are between it. Put this in reverse, actually. Nope. Where's the planet? Oh, that's the planet. I probably need to get up behind it. I've never seen this before. That stuff falls towards the planet. Okay, I want to try something here. Gonna come to a halt, and we're gonna turn... Where is that? Flight assist off. Are we gonna begin... Are we gonna fall towards the planet? It seems not. Okay, anything here worth shooting at? Assault ship. Yeah, why not? Commander said evil, good evening. Oh, cargo scoop. Why can't boost? Banded on my six. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Did he ram me? Oh, there we go. Got it. And dead. Yes, power distributor is engineered. Everything is engineered. Oh, Corvette. Yes, I know there's stuff shooting at me, but they will have to wait. Okay, he's shooting at me as well. Fair enough. I should probably put some pips to shield then. There we go. Shields are down. If I think people are getting fed up with the community goals since... Uh, it's hard to say. I think the reason why one of the community goals got cancelled... Um, was because there was some kind of bug where they wouldn't register the, some of the components correctly. So I think they just cancelled the community goal and are going to treat it as completed. So whatever global... Um, Global re rewards that would be, we're just gonna get those. Meaning, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the the new weapons in a couple of days. The new missile weapons, the la the large version of the EX missiles, basically. Thermic alloys, yes, they are for. Um, I think they're for long range. Yeah, they're for long range. Still nothing, but there's another Corvette shooting at me. Would you please stop? Really? You got a chaff? Someone is using cannons somewhere.
mean, if you want to have a face-to-face a, a -face shootout, we can do that because I'm pretty sure my shields are better than his. Even though my shields are actually dropping, I should probably do something about it. Oh, I can't. Can I remember the... I could. Wasn't sure if I could remember the shortcut for my uh, shield cell banks, but... Um Still nothing. Actually, let's have a quick look at the spreadsheet here. Because nine of the thermic alloys are for the plasma accelerators, which I technically don't need right now. How many do we have? Materials. Fifty-five. If we would get one more, I would be happy. Oh, let me get that spreadsheet away so I can see what you guys are writing. And I think one of the reasons why they might not be that much interested in the community goals is because it's not really new weapons, it's just bigger version of what we already have. I mean, don't get me wrong, we definitely need them if we want to be uh, be effective against the Basilisks, but it's not that new and exciting as it was the first time we got them. There's one. Are there any more? Or is that the only one? It's the only one. Okay, let's get this and... Uh, then I think it's time to go and get ourselves some uh, cracked industrial firmware. Yay, the joy. Oh, actually, you know what? We're gonna need one more, and then we have what we need for uh, for the PAs that I don't have to come back here. We're gonna get one more. This one, and then one more. There we go. Gunship. Hmm. Nope, apparently not. There we go. I must have locked him already. Ah, can we find something closer? How about that guy there? Where did he go? Three kilometers. It's only a... A Cobra though. Close the hatch. Yes. There's a draft. Close the hatch. We are currently, uh, oops, weapons, weapons, we're currently looking for thermic alloys for uh, some engineering upgrades. We are almost done, we just need one more, then we're actually done here. We can move on to cracked industrial firmware. Boom! Nope, nothing. Oh, a python. And he's fairly close. Wonderful. And that's the python. Target 
Ah, oh, and there's two of them. Of course there are. We're gonna take both of them, just in case. Oh, do we have enough room? Yes, plenty of room. And it's still folding towards the planet. Oh, I think I bumped it. Damn it. No, I can't have it. it was a hundred and something away. Come on here. No. I got it. Where's the other one? It's behind me. So let's see if we can pick this up as it comes towards us. Oh, there it is. And that's the last one. Flying around limpets, yeps. Which I should have, but I didn't. Could have, should have, didn't. Okay, now we have 44 thermic alloys, so we can head back into... Let's put that up on screen here. Boop. So thermic alloys, 44 there, 40, whoops, 44 there, so we can now make those green and now we only need the cracked industrial firmware and we are good to begin engineering so first step for cracked industrial firmware is to get back to our ship let's get this back to star class go Okay, while we are heading back to um, to the station and to get our um, to get our um, other ship, gonna get the Anaconda. No, Henrik, I don't use docking computers. Um, I just want to make some uh, give you guys some quick info about what is gonna happen here next weekend. Um, if you uh, if you're a frequent follow of the channel, you will know that I uh, recently. Now, quite some time ago, a few weeks ago, but I recently uh, this channel surpassed uh, uh, 10,000 subscribers. And that, of course, means that that calls for celebrations. And I had one 10 hour live stream last weekend where I played 10 different games in 10 hours. And next weekend, I'm going to have another live stream, another 10 hours, but this time it's going to be pure elite. So, 10 hours of nothing but elite dangerous. Um, it's going to be on this uh, Saturday. And with, as with any good live stream, there will be um, and any good celebration live stream, there will be giveaways. And I'm giving away game codes for Elite with Horizons, um, both for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So there are link for that down below uh, if you want to uh, go up and sign up already. Um, so you have a chance to win. So if you can't be there on uh, on the actual day, you still have a chance to win, and I will contact you by email after. But also. Now that we are talking about giveaways. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That button box I talked about that I don't use right now, but I really should, is right here. Let me try to get that up so you actually can see. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Camera. Whoop. Here we go. This thing is also going to be given away at the live stream, um, which is a button box, a button controller that you can connect, and you can have all these hats and switches and dials and buttons and whatever you want to do with it. I normally use it for a targeting panel, just to control all my targeting, targeting wingmans and nav locking to wingman and targeting next systems and adjusting sensor range and all kinds of good stuff. That one's going to be given away uh, on the live stream as well. Let's get back into it. There we go.
So, uh, and of course, giveaway, a link for that giveaway is also below. Uh, so you can go down, you can click that link and you can sign up. And I hope I'll see as many of you as possible um, for the stream. What we're going to be doing on the day, I am not 100% sure about. But um, since my advanced PAs is going to arrive on Thursday... And the stream is on Saturday. There's a very good chance that I will spend some of the time engineering the plasma accelerators, and uh, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna give uh, give them a a good test to see how they perform. Um, just because I'm gonna be very excited to try and get it up after I'm done engineering them. Um, we might go down and we might try to hunt some thargoids if um, if there are some people online who fancy that. Um, and otherwise we might try to arrange some kind of canyon raids um, to to see if we can uh, get some people together and do some hill climbing and SRVs or canyon jumping or we'll figure something out um, I'm sure but it's pretty much just gonna be let's see what happens on the day and whatever we feel like doing whoops overshooting again Mid, you have emissions. So I've been I've been in doubt what emissions actually do because it seems like it just increases their scan resolution, so that there we go. So you don't lose target lock on them if they fire a heat sink. That's at least how I I understand it. Is that correct? That that's how emission work. That's the idea. Okay. Because I was looking at going for a mission because I thought it would counter have chaff, but it doesn't seem like it does. So I mean, it would have been cool if a mission uh, would uh, would counter have uh, counter have chaff because that would really be cool. Deeper darkness guys, uh, will you be doing will doing sales on PC? Yes. I do not There we go. I do not have um an Xbox nor a PlayStation, so I really only have one option. So uh, regardless of how much I would love to try and play on some of the other platforms, um, not something that's going to happen anytime soon, I think. Core dynamics, Mike Papa Alpha, FFC channel open. Submit a request if you wish to dock at this facility, Commander. Approved for access. Proceed to landing pad 1 says he's changed out his weapons or his uh, multi cannons with PAs depending on his mood. I might do the same thing. It might even be where I'm expecting that I'm going to go, what type of ship I'm going to be fi uh, fighting. Um, because I still have my huge uh, cannons as well. So in case I want to go and, uh, and try that out, I can do that. Landing gear not deployed. Not the prettiest landing, but it works. Oh, can we hand in the bounty thing image here? No, not black market. Just collect all that. Of 
44? 44 what? Okay, so next up I need to go and I need to look up a list here. Mm hmm because finding materials base scan route I can't remember how far I am on the route, but let's just go I'm just looking for the next destination where we need to go. Let's see if this is far away. I think this is fairly close by. Nope, not at all. Can we get something a little closer, maybe? Yeah, that seems to be a lot closer. A hundred. Yeah, we'll start here. Uh, exquisite focus crystals are a pain. Okay, so uh, the next order of business is of course that we need another 15 units of cracked industrial firmware. There we go, let's just point towards the system. It is, how many jumps? Four, I think. Three jumps. Um, let's see how we're doing for data storage because we're gonna get a lot of data storage. Okay, so we need to clean up in here. A barren shield pattern analysis. Do I need that for any of the stuff that I'm doing here? No, I don't. So let's get rid of some of this. Let's just get rid of 30 of them to make room here. Mm, a typical disruptive wake echoes. They are easy to get as well. I don't think I need those as well. Nope. Get rid of all of those. A typical encrypted archives. Drop some of those as well. Classified scan data banks are also fairly easy to get a hold of. Uh, just making sure I don't need any of the stuff that I'm jettisoning here. I'm sorry, I can't see chat at the moment. Scan fragments are pretty rare. Cracked industrial firmware, that's what we're looking for. Data mined wake exceptions. Gonna keep those. Decoded emission data. Uh, something I have a lot of. Oh wow, modified embedded firmware. Shh, tons of that. Modified consumer firmware. Specialized legacy firmware. Be gone. Oh fuck, didn't need that. Specialized. Fuck, damn it. I needed nine spe. Okay, we're gonna find that again. Thargoid, Thargoid, Thargoid. Unexpected emissions. Okay, but we have we have some some decent room now. Oh, that was stupid. I managed to jettison all my specialized legacy firmware now. Meaning now we need that as well. <laughs> but luckily, we get that from the same place as we get the cracked industrial firmware, so it's not that bad. And it's fairly. Low. I mean, we only need what. Three specialized legacy firmware, so it shouldn't be too bad.
Yeah, specialized, you can... Uh... Oh, wow. Chat, there we go. Specialized, you can get in quints, but... Um... Again, after quints was nerfed, I'm not sure that's what I want to do. I think I'm just gonna run the uh, the science bases because it's actually pretty fun to do. Um, the only downside is that it's a lot of flying because they don't respawn. They uh, they reset about is it one every three weeks? I think. Nine CT, there we go. That's our destination. One week? Is it only one week? Okay. Really, you run it. You run that that whole list every one or two weeks. What do we need all that uh, scan data for? Okay, scan the system, and we need to go to A to A. Come on, there we go. So star A, planet 2, moon A, there we go. Okay, you need the crack industrial firmware like everybody else. And we need to find uh, Kenai Terminal. Wheelchair bandit ask what list if you go to uh, If you go and open another fan go into YouTube and then search for I would guess elite dangerous cracked industrial firmware You will see a, a, a video I did a while ago But basically there are there's a certain type of, of surface outposts and you're gonna see it here in a bit that um, no, I should start somewhere else. What I did was I found someone someone else made a whole list of a lot of these surface outposts. Um, what their chance are for different materials and whether you can complete them without doing any combat or without jumping any high walls or entering trespass zones and all that stuff. So what I did, I took that and I data mined it and I found the optimal combination where I had the highest chance of finding crack and dustal firmware with the without having to do any kind of combat or trespassing or just basically it should be pretty pretty straightforward and I took all those bases that were known at the time and then I wrote uh, where was that there are those then I wrote a uh, traveling salesman algorithm to run through all these data points and figure out what is the shortest route the shortest periodic route like looping route that you can go through all these points so I did that and that's the list that I'm running today or right now I'm just started some random uh, place in the list so I'm sure I've not been there for the last couple of weeks um, and then I'm heading to the base I'm completing the scans that I need I'll get the data and then I'll head on to the next base and the next base and the next base until I have all the data that I need simple as that Looks like this one is... Ooh, that could actually be pretty close to the Day Night Terminator.
Mike, I'm not sure if you can post links to the videos, but otherwise I will try to find it. Al alternatively, Wheelchair Bandit, if you go and... Uh, while we're approaching here, let me find something for you. There's probably going to be a ton of help because that's I have that at hand right here. Oh, are we crashing? No, we're not. Good. Okay, I'm just going to post you guys a link. Here we go. Look at that link, though. Yep, that's the title of the video. If you look at the link I just posted, that's a link for a Google spreadsheet I made a, a while ago as well. And that thing holds all the engineering materials you're ever going to need. And links for video instructions on how to find them for most of them. There are still some of them that's not done. Um, but I'll try to see if I can make that list complete. But at least it has a description of where you can find them. Um... And if they have a video link, I will have linked it in there. So you can go in there and whatever you need are specific materials. If you don't know how to get it, you just open up that link, find the material, click the video link, and there's your instruction for you. Um, it also have, I'm also beginning to populate a second sheet in there that you can also see where there will be guides to unlocking all the different engineers. Um, I'm, I haven't done that many of them yet, but still uh, working on completing that list. And I think I also did a fan that just holds like uh, other useful videos like here's a guide on how to navigate by planetary coordinates or what else they put in here um basic srv scanning and how do you land on a high g world stuff like that And the reason why I did, I actually did this link just on random Sunday. I was sitting on the couch and was like, ugh, I hate always having to go and look up my own videos to find when I need a specific material. So I decided, ooh, look at that. Sorry, I'm getting distra distracted here. Look at that crater, that canyon there. Anyway, oh, we're getting too close here. Um, and then I decided just to make a list of them. Just, um, to start with, it was just for myself, so I could easily find them. And as I was sitting there and completing this list, I realized, well, there must be other people who want something like this as well. One place you go that has video instructions for everything, um, almost anything. So I decided to um, oh, to make it a little bit prettier and then publish it to, uh, to the rest of the community. And I've received a lot of positive feedback on it. Gravity is good. Ship. Be gone. Let's see if we can find that base. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that's how you lose control. And But one of the main problems with this is that you have to land so far outside the base. Because if you land too close, it's a trespass zone. But it's only a trespass zone if you're flying in a ship. If you're in an SRV, it's not. So you have to land about 4 kilometers outside the base. And then drive there. Um, and then of course you need to drive outside that zone as well. Once you're done. Keep it under control.
Okay, let's see if I can get an overview of what's going on here. Drunk driving? Yeah. Oh, okay, here we are. Ah, now I know where we are. I just need to get my bearings here. We need to get in here. Because in here, there is a data point. Which we can target and scan. And then we drive out here, whoops. And just around the corner. There's another one. This way towards the telescopes. Oops. And jump the pipeline. And between the pipes back here. We have another one. And that's number three. Go for number four. Which is just behind this building over here. We need to jump back over the pipeline. Whee! And there's a skimmer. Hello, little skimmer. And then we just need number five. And this is a tricky one. Because it's actually behind that wall there. So it was intended that you should jump that wall in order to get in. But it's so close to the wall. If you drive up over here. And then just face plant into the wall. Boop. There you can see it. You can actually scan it. Through the wall. So we don't have to jump it. Open symmetric keys, modified embedded firmware, and more open symmetric keys. So, no joy this time. So now we just move on to the next one on the list. Which of course means we need to get outside of the base. No hands. See how far we can go without actually touching the controls at all. This is just... There's no hands. See how far we'll go. Well, this is easy. Oh, oh. There we go. Am I driving in the right direction? 
Ah, ish. Okay, I think we're far enough away now that we can recall the ship. Donuts. Whee. Did I recall it? There we go. See, it always, I don't know why, but the ship likes to land very close to the base it always ends up flying like a kilometer backwards driving a kilometer backwards towards the base i think we're a little bit too close to the base so we'll have to make a quick getaway here because otherwise you're not gonna like us one bit While we're flying away, we're just going to set the station for the next system. Nothing really good here. <laughs> Head straight into super crews. Hey matey, uh, we're still looking, I just finished the first base and we got nothing. But I managed to throw away some of the materials that I needed, which is great. But I'll probably get it back pretty fast. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so I dropped below the glide. Oh. As my frameshift drive was charging, I dropped below the glide, uh, the glide altitude of 50 kilometers, and it dropped me into <laughs> to glide mode and aborted my uh, my jump. Here we need planet wow 11e that sounds far away seven eight eleven a b c d e two thousand okay that's not that bad could have been worth
What's on 11E? On 11E, there's a page called Carton Survey. And at Carton Survey, we can get, hopefully, cracked industrial firmware and what was the other thing that I threw away? Specialized legacy firmware. We need 15 cracked industrial firmware and 9 specialized legacy firmware. Here we go, we should be able to see the base now, there, there it is. Let's lock on that. And get ready for final approach. This one is definitely on the light side though. <laughs> Need coffee? Yeah. It's been a long day already. But I really want to get some of this engineering done. Ooh. Oh. And now I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> At all. Oh, there we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. It's me we're coming in a little fast. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna drop out very soon. here scott asked for a list um i posted one not a lot not that long ago i don't know when you joined the chat but uh, otherwise we probably find it pretty quickly again scott here is a list of all the materials this is a spreadsheet so what you do oh we close that's okay what you do is you head to that um you head to that document, the Google Docs I just posted, and in there you find whatever materials you need, and there will be video guides to most of them. You're welcome. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Shields of our landings. There we go. Get that out. Don't want to waste time making a very, very gentle, perfect landing. Yeah, I always do that. It's much, much faster just whenever you find some place that has, that's landable. You just land there and the ship will most likely uh, adjust itself when you hit the ground. And then you take the damage to the shield, but it's a lot quicker. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's the second one. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Gabrielle, thanks a lot for subscribing and welcome to the channel. <laughs> the subscription sound <laughs> fell off your chair because of that. It wasn't that loud, was it? Ow. Nagelfar, thanks a lot for subscribing. I, I hope you then re remember to turn your headset down that time, otherwise that was it pretty much uh, <laughs> your own doing. Oh my god, sorry guys. <laughs> oh. Imperial dildo. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Oh, stop. There we go. Stop in time. We can turn around. We are facing in the right direction where we need to go again. Target log it. Never heard of the Panther Clipper. It is. Uh, it is said to be one of the biggest ships in the. Elite dangerous lore, elite lore at least, not dangerous lore. Um, and there's been a lot of speculations about if or when the ship will be introduced. No, 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 it's not the Type 10. Type 10 is something completely different. Okay, come on, RNGesus. 
Give me cracked industrial firmware. Open symmetric, cracked secret. Wow, that was a lot. Oh, there we go. Cracked industrial firmware and security firmware patch. Nice. Look at that. We got how many? These three was the other one. So we got one, two, three, four, five. More open symmetric keys. We probably need to get rid of some of those. Unusual encrypted files. But that's the one we want. Cracked industrial firmware and the security firmware. Was it security? The, was it security firmware patch we needed? Hold on. No, it was specialized legacy firmware. Damn it. Was the wrong one. Ugh. Okay. Fair enough. But we got some cracked industrial firmware. That's the important part. I'm gonna kick myself if I end up getting all the cracked industrial firmware and I haven't gotten the specialized legacy firmware before we're done. Hello, Ricardo. Doing, uh, doing okay. We're just collecting some whoops, some materials for, uh, for engineering the cutter, or the cucumber. Not the cutter. Wow. Try it. The Corvette. We've upgraded the Corvette and we need cracked industrial firmware. And uh, apart from a small mistake by jettisoning some data that I needed, it's going okay. So I'll just be driving straight until I crash into something. Let's see what I actually wrote, wrote in my own list here spe on the specialized legacy firmware. Oh, we can do that by scanning the satellites as well. We might have to go and do that then. Okay, I hope we're far enough away now. I'm mainly up I'm only upgrading guns right now. Um, shields and other modules will have to get an overhaul later on. But for now, we will have to, uh, to just take the... Uh, those anymore. We'll have to just do the um, the weapons and then the shields will need an upgrade later. Oh, there it is. And see, then it flies towards the base and lands halfway inside the perimeter. Stupid ship. Why could you not land over there? Well, you have to go in there. Ah, I have drive assist on, that's why I have no control over this. There we go. He says and veers off to the right, left, and left for that matter. Um, one multi cannon, three burst lasers, and later on, some plasma accelerators. Oh my god, too many windows. Cole Muffin, thanks a lot for subscribing. There's our next destination. Copy, 
Okay, that looks like that's below the horizon, so... Uh, I'll just get up and get into Super Cruise, and we can head to the next system. Eighteen, and we need what thirty? Yeah, we need thirty. We still have plenty of data storage, so that's not a problem. Are we out of mass lock? Yes, we are. Head into Super Cruise. Okay, the next system is pretty much on the opposite side of the planet. So let's just to get it up to that OC mark on the altitude meter, and then we're good to go. There we go. And here we need to go to B3A. Scan the system. And then B123 Moon A. 10,000. Oh, God. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get going. Yeah, I'm really excited for the plasma accelerators. I think they're going to be a ton of fun just because of the rate of fire. While we're flying out here, let's have a look, actually. What's the rate of fire on a... On a large or huge multi-cannon? Because they're flying fairly slowly. Just make sure you guys can watch along here as well. There we go. Just took a stock fell Corvette. Let's try to see what happens if we put a... Multi... Okay, it actually has a fairly high rate of fire, but that might be because it's firing several of the guns at the same time. Because the advanced, whoops, the advanced PAs is pre pretty quick as well. We go plasma accelerators, when we think of rapid fire on those. I mean, that's not a bad rate of fire for a plasma accelerator. Wait, do rapid fire introduce jitter? Oh, they do. But jitter on, okay. How much? Not by much, hopefully. Good evening and welcome to the stream. Okay, 0.3 degrees. That's not too bad. That could have been a lot worse. Not too bad, not too bad.
HD Tank Python og HD... What do I mean H, HD? HD, sorry. HD Tank Python. What's an HD? How far are we out? Two kilometers. Ah, hull tanking. I I wouldn't go hull tanked on a Ferdland. Yeah, it has optional, very few optional internals, so you're gonna have a hard time getting enough um, hull reinforcement packages on there. Um, so then I would definitely go for a Python. If you're going for hull tank, I'm guessing for dark oil hunting, I would go with a Python. You need those optional internal slots. Alternatively, you could go for a Federal gunship if you have access to that. That is a decent ship as well. If you're in the medium-sized ship, I don't know what the prices are on those. I think the gunship is a, is that cheaper than the, than the Python? I can't remember. And remember guys, if you haven't done already, please uh, go down and give the stream a, a like down below. That would uh, would help me out a lot. And also uh, remember to subscribe if uh, you haven't already. Um, and right now we're just coming up on final approach on this next moon on our list. And hopefully we can get some more crack industrial firmware here so we can begin. I really hope... Oh, wow, it's already late. We might not actually be able to do the engineering, but if we're very lucky, we're going to be able to finish the material collecting. Use this moon for uh, gravitational slingshots. There we go. Slow us down and then point towards the other moon. Totally planned that. Totally planned that. <laughs> not at all. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for uh, that one. We're just right there. Okay. Yeah, the gunship's dirt cheap, I can imagine. It's a federal ship. Oh, that was not nice. The Corvette is a good ship. I never liked the other ships. I have a, I have a gunship and tried it out for hunting Thargoids. Not really sure what I think about it. I would much rather have a Python, I think. Ideally an Anaconda, but if we're looking at medium ships, I think uh, that the Python is a better choice. Oh, I do not have a lot of control right now, which is not good. Not good at all. Can we get this under control? I cannot see where I'm going. 14 kilometers on the altitude meter, which is good. But still 18 kilometers up. That's That was a crabby approach. Especially because this ship cannot boost. No boosting. Okay, so we're coming in from this side, but we have to start with the wall this time. It seems like we could get a lot closer than I thought. I mean, they never really complain. Let's try to go into around three kilometers. Okay, let's try to make this 
landing a little bit prettier than the previous one. Unsuitable terrain. Oh, it's a small patch. There we go. There we go. Slightly prettier than the than the previous one. Okay, let's get out. Let's get the ship out of here. Oh, dismiss. They didn't even look at the gravity. That's actually decent here. Whoa! Throttle back and get it under control and we're off again. And there we go. Whoops. I think we are. Oh, yeah. I gotta show you guys something afterwards. Maybe the gravity is too high on this planet. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna try something silly. Let's go in here, find the data point. There it is. Log it. Scan it. Warning Network security protocol activated. Whatever that means. That they're being hacked, but they wouldn't think that the guy driving around in the SRV is the one doing it because they don't really seem to bother. Go get ready to do ups. Oh, no, no, jump the pipeline. Still moving in somewhat the right direction, so I think we're a little bit too far now. Just turn this around. Oh, it was actually pretty perfect. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Clicking the wrong button. <laughs> Great. As you can see, SRV driving is not one of my uh, primary skills in this game. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Past this house, over to the next small pyramid thingy. Gonna hit the building. Yep. Plenty of time though. Okay, let's hope for some more luck. This is not the last one though, we have one more. There we go, scanning that. Yep. 
Here we go. Last one. Come on, give me some RNGs here. Classified scan data bank, unusually encrypted file, modified a bit of firmware, and more classified scan data banks. So nothing that we really needed. But modified a bit of firmware is nice, though I have plenty of it already. How are we doing for data storage? We're still very good on data storage. Oh yeah, I want to show you guys something. These pyramids, for some reason, are very easy to drive at, drive up. Let's try to see if it works. This is a little bit high gravity, but uh, might still work. There you go. Uh, we are sliding. I think if we park sideways on, we will not be sliding that much. There we go. Because that makes sense, right? It should be able to park there. <laughs> I don't know, but to me that sounds that that looks like it should be falling down. Spider SRV, Spider SRV. Anyway, let's get out of here. Come on, keep that under control. It's getting more and more rocky, this terrain here. But I think we have traveled far enough now. Recall the ship. Okay, while we wait for uh, for the ship to um, to come back, I uh, I think I'm gonna call it here because I uh, as always want uh, a little bit of time to um, to talk to you guys over on uh, on Discord. So uh, as always, after the stream, you're more than welcome. You're always welcome to come by Discord and say hi. Um, I don't, we'll probably play some games over there afterwards. Um, but again, I really hope you enjoy this. And remember to check by on uh, Saturday for the 10-hour stream. Um, I am planning to part of the stream will probably be doing the engineering. Because now I didn't manage to do it today. Um, I will try to make sure to have all the materials. So we don't have to run through all this gathering materials on, um, on Saturday. So we can just go and do all the rolls. On the weapons, and then we can then take it out and try and see how um, how those plasma accelerators perform. Because I'm actually quite excited to see um, if I can hit anything with them <laughs> to start with. Whoops! Hold is fifty percent. Wow, that was quick. But anyway, I'm just gonna get uh, into the SRV, uh, into the, SRV, into the Anaconda here, and um, and then I'm gonna call it for for tonight. I really hope you uh, you liked the stream. If you did, give it a like, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um. But yeah, what am I stuck at? Oh, it's a landing deck. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.